and welcome to the Philip Cockham channel viewers please like subscribe share and comment it helps this channel grow and it helps to be bringing these great videos that we all love so on today's show we've got the second flight here of the de Havilland DH100 vampire I've got the GPS in here but it's not sitting quite right so I'm not too sure about the reading on that and uh, it's quite windy out today but I have fixed up these uh, wheels a little bit so hopefully we get some better uh, uh, taxiing and uh, ground control capabilities uh, so let's go I'm gonna still come up behind it here so I can see it better sketchy takeoff there <laughs> it's hard like once you get it rolling good you got to just like you know commit and power in there right you're up and not let like in this uh I win so much, but hopefully that was some half decent shots there. AS3X is doing its job, that's for sure, because it's, uh, I can see it correcting quite a bit there. This isn't the most strong plane, that's for sure. In fact, uh, it has me a little concerned that, you know, pushing it too hard uh, with some aerobatics is just going to pop the wings <laughs> right off it or that tail boom, right? So anyway that's about it i think for our timer and everything one more pass here empire you're down Nice landing. Oh yeah, those wheels are much better now. Much, much better now. They were literally rubbing on the insides of the struts and then this crown on the road was just pushing that worse, right? Like, sorry, it was like that, right? <laughs> the wheels were pushing on it to, no, it's like this, right? So anyway, uh, the like I said, the crown on the road was just making it worse. And these landing gear aren't perfectly straight. I know people are trying to slow-mo footage. So let's see what our, if our thing worked, stop, read, 73 miles an hour. Sounds about right to me, 338 feet. I don't know if it's focusing on that guy, sorry. <laughs> there you go, 73 miles an hour for the uh, Durafly de Havilland DH100. Nice. <laughs> 